have been playing this point. Oh, what a soul. Too easy to say. Too easy to say. The flag forward has scored. The tallest man on the field. And his head bowed. But great delight in his eyes. And enjoy playing and my goodness you can tell no crowd this season has made the sort of noise that the crowded gospel for making. A big congratulations to Rat to Sissy for being in the Hall of Fame. In this video we will hear him talk about rugby and life. We will also look at some photos and a story about him from Sarevi. The gloves with me, you have to have a mob guard in the uh, Rugby and punching is all going together. There was no red card, no yellow card, no water card that you have these days. Yeah. <laughs> colleagues that have gone and uh, of course for a very few of us that are still around. say that they had no he started off with me and I took him to New Zealand. I would um the fire the future regulator to ask me why did you take this guy here? I said you then do name me, tell me who, who else is there for me to take. Oh, I went to a school, to a boarding school. We later went there. It's hard to, you probably will recall, right? Eh? Yeah. I went there. Rugby is a game that's played there. Although FLIT came there. Eh? Mm -hmm. From there, I had a dream. 
I wanted to go to England in 1970 because in 1970 uh, that was the rugby football union centenary. Yeah, mm -hmm. the uh, England are rugby. Union. So, and then even one of my teacher, one of the teachers came back. He was in the Fiji team that went to Wales and Ireland and uh, France. Mm -hmm. He came back and said, "Hey, there's a team going to England. That's very rare at the time, eh?" Mm -hmm. So I said, "I'm gonna make that team." It was a driving field in it. Yeah. I came, I knew for me to make, to make that, I need to pay. I need to pay and get myself the conditions that I need to get myself in. And that's exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. So, I came, before 1970, I got to the team. I was elected, selected to be in the team, eh? that went to Australia. It's one, B, one year before that. Yeah. So, before that, I was, I was surprised. Then we went to New Zealand, came in, in 1970, we had a past two of New Zealand. And it took off from there. It took off from there and I stayed there until I got injured. And then I just said, this is about it. This is the end of it. Thank you, Lord, for giving me such a privilege of the talent. I had, uh, was able to visit the world, which I wouldn't have been done if I, with my money, we have no money. But I went visit places, met high sorts people, met the prime ministers, met governors, governor generals, huge things and places which I wouldn't have gone to if I it wasn't for rugby. <laughs> all for all through that. What are some um, of the highlights of your career? Like uh, you uh, okay. sitting at home and you're thinking, and you go, "Oh man, that was just awesome." <laughs> We, first of all, 1972, we did something that uh, in our own ways here in the Pacific. We beat Tonga in Tonga, clean up. We cleaned them off in three tests, which no Fiji team has ever done. And playing Tonga is like going there with the gloves, with everything, you have to have a mouth guard and rugby and punching is all going together. There was no red card, no yellow card, no water card that you have these days. Yeah. It was just, you know, so that was. Uh, we went in 72, we won three, we went clean sweep Tonga, in Tonga, mm -hmm. and then um, after that we went to 1970, we, what people thought that we did was not possible, we did what was possible. We beat the barbarians 29 or 27 9. That was unthought of. Nobody thought that we that could be. That, that's the British barbarians? British barbarians. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and then 70. Uh, about 80, 70 percent of that uh, squad came down to New Zealand in 71. Yeah. Came to down New Zealand in 71 and they beat the series, they took up the series. No, they beat the All Blacks, yeah? yeah. The majority of them were uh, mm -hmm. uh, in that uh, area. And uh, of course, they almost beat the All Blacks here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We lost an injury time. But those are some of the highlights of my game. Uh, yeah? Almost. England, we played the almost one. And eventually in 1977, we beat the Lions. I mean, that's, I suppose, it's, what else can you ask for? Yeah, and uh, that's on the 15th and on the 17th, of course. Yeah, one time. Oh, yeah, tell, tell us about your coaching career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they always say that uh, you don't necessarily have to become a coach or a successful coach you, um, if you are a rugby player. Eh? And I just wanted to prove people wrong. That's all I did. Try and prove people wrong that you cannot be a coach when you are a player. They don't seem to uh, sort of gel. Eh? I said, no, that's impossible. If you play the game, then you have a much better understanding of becoming a coach. Uh, and, uh, and when you transfer things, you transfer it for a more realistic, realistic uh, uh, perspective, eh? because of the practical experience that you go through. And to be able to relate that back into what you do. So you have a much, much better ability to express yourself and get things done. Eh? And when you, many, many, when you get things done, you know what to get done. Eh? So you have to put in a little bit of discipline. We are different, he knows. We are different. We are set on something that you want, you get it done. You see? Because probably we came through a hard, different kind of school. Yeah. Yeah, we were able to be coached by some of the real hard, tough coaches mm -hmm. from New Zealand too. Yeah. 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 Mostly all blacks and all that. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, the coach, and I went and coached the Fiji side, but then um, we didn't have the, um, the support that all the Nairobi's team have, eh? in terms of 
uh, preparations, which is the big thing is the preparations. Eh? Well, like able to, yeah, be resources, able to be able to get the players to a certain level of fitness, of strength. What what are you doing right now in terms of? Uh, uh, I'm uh, retired, eh? Yeah. And doing other things. What I heard is you far from retired. <laughs> I'm retired and doing other things. Yeah. I'm director of a few companies, so which I go and spend my time with, and uh, do that. And uh, what else? Just getting along with life. Thanking God for a long life. I'm 71 years old today. Today? Today's yeah. your birthday? No, no. Oh. 71. I'm, uh, my birthday is on the 1st of July. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I cannot uh, complain. I cannot. I'm just thankful. Uh, and what is uh, done to me. And of course, we family, look at these people. And I'm blessed with my grandchildren who are all around here. It's something that I'm so thankful.